a what's happening YouTube. So as you can see on screen right here, um, I am currently sitting at rank 500. So um, I kind of knew this was going to be happening as we get further and further along. You know, more and more people are just going to be able to outscore me because they have better EX levels and they can run better mods and whatever. And I, uh, I mentioned in yesterday's video, uh, which I'm going to, you know, pop up a card for right now, um, that uh, one of the areas I was struggling in was um, not having EX levels for uh, Kresnik and Louise and whatever. And that the only way I was going to be able to, to attempt a higher score run was going to be to include... Uh, different units or to level those units up to higher EX levels. Well, I have not been able to um, get anyone to higher EX levels, but I have been trying to think of a way to include different units to still get a good score um, without using Kresnik. And after watching Sinzar's video, that kind of really, really um, detailed explanation of the fight and thinking about different ways that I might be able to pull this off, um, I decided yesterday's video that I did not want to run RNG on um, on a Mirage Mirage stacks, but um, I decided to try it <laughs> because I'm a because I'm a, a um a glutton for punishment I guess, and I've decided to try it, and I've actually found that it can uh, it can definitely work for you uh, if RNG is in your favor. Um, thankfully, um, to help us with our favor, because uh, he's all about bringing us favor and joy and uh, and prosperity, we've got Chow. So I'm going to show you how um, I, I have been able to break down a good rotation using the units that I have in my team. Um, I'm not going to add any mods other than the HP lock for right this moment, just because I want to show that um, you can get to the HP lock with this team and still survive um, just for a you know basic, basic run here. It does work. Um, and here's the team. So I've still got Chow, I've still got Ling, um, I've still got Sky, but I've added in um, some weird options, <laughs> I think. Uh, Blue Mage Fina, uh, interesting. Okay, we've got Elena, uh, interesting. And we've got Tiana, which I think is another interesting one. Now, what this means is we are splitting up our elements a little bit uh, because Tiana cannot do any light element. We are going to use water on her. Um, and so it's not going to be like totally perfect, um, but it is still going to work. Um, you know, in fact, if I really wanted to, I could uh, take it a step further and give Fina a a water weapon but i don't want to mess with that too much right now because i just did this on stream um, i just got a perfect score with this team one mod only i know it's not that impressive but um, if you are struggling without having kresnik um here is the clear for you if you want a long run not just a, a one and done you know two turn clear you want to actually try and get a little score maybe something like this will help motivate you to try it um you know seeing seeing a clear that had um that had Ling in it did actually motivate me to try, but it still used Kresnik and Ling at the same time. So I was like, why are we bothering? Um, but we're going to go for this. So uh, to kind of break down and show you the team, I have made some modifications um, to help out with uh, passive provoke. I've got um, Avalanche Jesse's bandana. Okay. Um, and I've got some other stuff for dodge because without the Clash of Wills helmet, uh, Clash of Wills helmet you, for for the tank, you do kind of need to boost up. So I've got 55% dodge um, on the base form. I've got all the resistances that I need: fire, lightning, um, earth, and dark. We're gonna get we're gonna get big resists from both Elena and Tiana. So resistances are generally gonna be okay. You do still need to have a good amount of spirit on your tank because of that non-elemental damage. Um, so I've got that going. I've got Looming Wrath. Um, I've got the Blizzard Orb for counters and stuff like that. Shift Form. Um, still need um, some some evasion, right? So I've got 60% evasion. You really only need 50 um, because most of the work is going to be done by Mirage. But I just wanted to make sure that I had some on there just in case. Uh, Mirage is going to be doing most of the heavy lifting when it comes to evading attacks, though. Um, still Indestructible Light. You know, we're, we're still capped on... Um, Oh, we're not capped on Beast and Fairy. That's okay. Um, we're still going to do some good damage here. Um, I, I was able to um, to clear this out a minute ago. So, yeah. There's there's Chow. Okay. Tiana. Hello, Tiana. Um, I've got some batons. I've got Magister's Crown on, on Tiana. Uh, her own STMR. Uh, a source of guts just in case. Goblin Lilies for more morale. Um, just some evasion and protection type stuff. Her own vision card. Uh, Chow's running his own vision card too. I don't think I showed it. Uh, Brave Shift, we're just focusing on damage. 
um, with as much you know as, as much beast and fairy as we can fit in here okay beast and fairy a little evasion um, we got some evasion here as well I know this is a time limited item whatever you know they gave it to us for free it was time limited but they gave it to us for free <laughs> uh, we got uh, we got some fairy killer here as well um, and you know 6286 magic no not slouching but not the best ever but 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 we do have some evasion so that's that's a sacrifice you kind of have to make and I like having a little bit of evasion just in case um, there it is okay uh, Ling has not changed since my last video um, but here's here's her guide or, or gear it's in both forms uh, this earthbreaker you know I don't end up using it so just to, just to I'm just gonna take that off um, what do I have in her other form oh Eber's boon all right put that on here okay um, so her she's the same in both forms there we go she's got 100% dodge um, she's gonna be doing a lot of mirage though a lot of mirage decks for the party Elena I'm excited to bring Elena Elena is a free unit. Um, I've got her equipped with equip instrument to be able to put on conductor batons. We got some guts. We got some resistance, or some, like some mitigation armor, some resistances, goblin of lilies. We got uh, the philosopher's stone and fundamentals of alchemy. I know those are time limited and not available to everybody, but I have them. This is not strictly budget, um, but it is, you know, a little, speaking of not strictly budget. <laughs> <laughs> okay um yeah we got fairy killer we got beast killer she's actually doing pretty good 225 and 300 you know it's pretty cool yeah there we go um this is like the surprising uh, surprising level of usefulness and she's also free which i think is cool um so for a surprising level of usefulness to this party, I did equip her with a water weapon in her base form. In her base form on turn one, she's just going to hit the boss to start the uh, the uh, mitigation going down. So that's cool. She's got some guts. She's got some defense. She's got Jade Moon Pendant, which she's going to use on one turn. She's got Galmina Lilies. Um, and then Blue Wave, we do not end up using, but I'm leaving it there for right now. Uh, we've just got some spirit stuff. We're mainly focused on surviving with her and providing some buffs and some stuff like that. Shift form, really all she's going to be doing is um, two-hand uh, dual wield attacking with an Aurora Scarf just to do quads, um, quad cast bolting strike frames to help chain on the burst turn to get us to 100 points. Okay, there she is. Sky has mainly not changed except for in this run she's wearing Bahamut just for the double killers. Um, and um, I gave her... Uh, two-handed sword because we're using Elena's sword in peril. I know it's not as good as gun in peril, but I don't even have a gun in peril on this team. I don't. I can't fit in. I don't. I don't think there's a way to give a quip throwing weapon, so I can't give her fixed dice. Um, so we're going to be using a two-handed sword. Um, she's got magister. She's got some fairy killer. Yuna's necklace. Why was that there? Just for LB damage, because LB damage is good. Uh, in this build, we've got her maxed out on LB damage. In fact, and it's. Uh, I notice it. She's got. Um, 300 fairy, 300 beast. There it is. I know that's time limited too. We're not going to complain about me having time limited stuff. And I know this is a premium vision card. We're not going to complain about, complain about that either because I got it. I'm allowed to use it. Dang it. Okay. The only mod we have on is the HP lock. Um, and there it is. You know, 3 out of 16. Just to show that this works, uh, we're going to go ahead and go with it. There's the team. Here we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull up my uh, turn chart as well because I, I just spent a lot of time working on it. Okay. A lot of auto casting is about to happen. There it is. Keep going. Keep going. Look at all that morale. Look at all that morale. Okay. Um, so the order on turn one is not terribly important, but I like to go ahead and get um, Fina's attack out of the way. That does water damage to the boss, which starts the uh, mitigation train going. Um, we're going to go ahead and do a shifted limit burst on Sky to start stacking. This also puts the accuracy down uh, on turn one. Um, some guides that I sh watched showed Ling using her limit burst on turn one. 
Uh, because I don't have that ability to let her do that in this team, we're using Sky to get accuracy down. So that's why everybody has 50% um, dodge um, in this this form. Um, that way they can survive turn one. Okay. Um, Elena is going to be doing Azure Protection and Protection of the Azure Crystal, which is a mouthful, right? That's just to get some mitigation going, some protection, a uh, barrier, you know, whatever. Um, Ling is going to triple. She's going to Blithe Step. She's going to Refreshing Twirl to give us some st some basic stacks of Mirage um, and then Disarming Movements to break the boss. Okay. Chow is going to Triple Divine Beast, Guard Dog, Kind Protector, and Focus Inspiration for some mitigations. And Tiana, who I'm really excited to bring because I spent all that time and effort trying to get her to EX plus three, is going to Trouble Brewing, uh, a Watery Blue Concoction, Revitalizing Brew, and Rainbow Remedy. Now, I know... Um, on the next turn, I'm going to be using Crystal Refragmentation, so you might be thinking, why am I bothering doing them both? Um, well, because Rainbow Remedy lasts forever, and I can just do it now and not worry about it, this is a good time to do it. Um, this is also going to give us a little bit of morale. We should be under this line here um, by the time this is all done. Now, fun story. There's a lot of RNG in this build, so it's possible the boss could just totally wipe us here because of RNG. I've had it happen. Looks like we're gonna be okay. The other thing that's gonna be RNG is how many counters Chow does, but I've seen him take us down below that six on the screen um, as far as how much morale we get from this. So we're gonna see how Chow does. It's already going down really, really quick. Look at that go. Beautiful, Chow is so wonderful. Yeah, we're in good shape. We're below the six. Look at that. He's still going. We can get below the one. We're below the one. <laughs> Chow, come on, man. All right. Seriously, Chow. I know you're showing off and all, but still. Okay? So, turn two. Um, the order, again, does not really matter on turn two. There is one turn, a couple turns where it does matter, but in this in this, this setup, it does not matter. So um, I like to do Sky's Limit Burst first, just to get a stack. I know the boss is going to have accuracy, so it's not going to matter, but I like to get a stack there. Um, Blue Mage Fina uh, is going to use her Exercising Jade, right? Here we go. For a morale gain, big jump on morale gain. Elena is going to super liminal speed for legendary, beloved, and crystal refrag. That's going to get rid of all of our um, all of our imperils and give us a big buff to everything. Um, and it does not necessarily stack with Tiana's, but it does remove the imperils and boost us up for everything else that we don't have, um, like dark. So that is important. Okay. Um, speaking of Tiana, we're going to go ahead and shift and do the thing that she's gonna do pretty much the rest of the fight, which is water times five. She's gonna use unstable water five times to build up her stacks. This actually does quite a bit of morale gain as well because of how many hits it is. It's 50 hits of an element that the boss is weak to, so you, could, you do gain quite a bit of morale off of it. Um, Chow is gonna do guard dog kind protector and true guardian's blessing. This is gonna remove our breaks that we now have on us and give us break resistance, as well as push the morale a little bit. There we go. And Ling is going to shift up and do her five stacks of Mirage. Now this, this turn is where, because we don't have accuracy down on the boss anymore, the boss has accuracy buff, this is where it gets a little hairy. So if the boss does five AOE physical attacks, it clears out all of our Mirage stacks and then chooses to do one more, then wipe is over, or the, 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 the run is pretty much over um, because it's probably gonna wipe everybody. Um, but I have not had it happen yet. I have seen two, I have seen three, um, I have not seen five. So we'll go ahead and see how many we get here.
But this is where the RNG really starts kicking in. This is the best run I've had all night. 49% on turn two. Oof. Uh, that was one. Come on, come on. Yeah, see, that's just RNG, so uh, not a whole lot you can do about that. That is that is the downside of running this particular strategy. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel, um, and we're going to start over. Um, I, I want to leave that here because that just shows you how it goes. You know, it's going to go that way when, when your, your strategy is dependent on RNG. Um, so we'll just, you know, we'll pick it up and do it again. That's okay. We're not upset about it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spend as much time um, explaining that whole process because I've already done it once. Um, we'll just pick up where we left off. So there we go. I'll just do this really quick. Um, but that right there is the main reason that I didn't want to do this. Like I didn't want to try and like just sit here for hours and hours trying to rerun it and rerun it and rerun it just because of bad RNG. Um, and it can have, the bad RNG can happen on uh, several turns. It can happen on turn two. It can happen on turn three. Um, it can happen later on in the fight too. Um, and so it just, it, there's a lot of chances for something to go wrong. So we're just, we're just picking up where we left off. Thankfully we only got through two turns of it. Okay. And I know I'm going through it really quick, uh, but I just want to get back to where we were. Hopefully Chow does a ton of counters like he did last time. All right. Thank you. You just do your thing, Chow. Chow takes more time to do all of his counterattacks than I did to, to queue up all those actions. For me, as long as you get below where you started, I'm pretty happy um, as far as how many counterattacks he gets. He didn't do as many as he did last time, which is fine. It's not really going to matter. We should still get to zero, and that's the important thing. Uh, I just like to make sure I have a net. Uh, I like to gain morale every turn. So, All right, here we go. Refrag. Exercise. Sky Flurry. And again, I know we're going really fast. Um, this is just, come on, come on. This is just getting us to right where we left off. Thankfully, it was only two turns before we wiped. Okay. Dragon Reborn, Reborn Dragon. So last time we had 48% morale left on the boss, and let's see how many, we, how much we have this time. Looks like a uh, low 60s, 65, mid 60s. Okay, still okay. It's still gonna be fine. Let's just see how the RNG goes for us this time. All right, you can stop that. You can stop that. There we go. So it got really close there. Um, that makes me a little nervous for when I try to put mods on. But obviously you see Chow is countering and recovering just fine. I also had some runs on stream that that did not happen at all. And Chow was totally fine um, there. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Turn three. This is. I'll slow down a little bit now. So we're turn three, we're doing uh, Legendary, Beloved, and Blessing of the Azure Crystal. Okay. Uh, Blue Mage Fina is going to be doing some resistance buffs just to get morale. So we'll do Black Elemental Veil, White Elemental Veil, and Mighty Guard. Okay, 
Um, Ling is gonna be doing a, another charge of her LB. Sky is gonna do another charge of her LB. Chow is gonna change it up a little bit and do Guardian's Holy Flame on Sky, Loyal Hearts, Guardian Blessing. For morale. Um, and in fact, we can just do repeat for Sky and Tiana. So, or Lang and Tiana. This is another turn though, because the boss still has accuracy up, um, where we could wipe. You know, it could happen again, and we'll, we'll see if we get lucky. One. Two. Three, four, five, no more. See? <laughs> Woo. And Chow was fine. Chow didn't even lose a little, like, you know, not even half health. Just RNG, which is why I didn't want to do this. But it is working. We are not getting as much morale as I would like. Um, I would love to be under this one right now, but we are not. So um, I'm a little nervous about how much damage we're going to be able to do on the burst turn here, um, which is next turn. So we're going to do Legendary, uh, Shield, and Azure Might, which doesn't do anything, but we need a third action. I don't want to use her imbues. Uh, Blue Mage Fina is going to... Light imbue with Crowning Veil. Use Total Peace to heal. And then um, Magic Mind Blast, which is going to do a Light Imperil on the boss, as well as Break. Just a little bit. Okay. Um, Tiana is going to do five water. Sky is going to downshift and use Tybus's Spirit. Chow is going to Brave Shift. And get ready for bursting on turn five. We usually get some morale off of this. I'm a little nervous that we're not going to be able to... Um, that we are not going to be able to get the buff for the next turn. Um, on this turn, um, Sky is also, or Ling, I keep calling Ling Sky and vice versa. Um, Ling is going to enthrall the boss for a break and Celestial Dance. It looks like we're under that for the buff, which is good. Um, hopefully, Chow will do a bunch of counters and push us low enough to get a really good morale. 18%? Yeah, that's okay. Um, I would like lower. I've, I've, I've done runs where I was at zero morale right here for the boss, and obviously that was probably the ones where I did the most damage. A couple attacks snuck through for Elena. I'm not 100% sure why. Okay. Thankfully, we do have our breaks or our buff skills so we'll go ahead and use those to kind of push morale a little bit blind the boss and get ready to burst uh, we'll go to quintuple um, blue mage fiend is going to shift up and she's just going to attack because she's got two weapons and um the um She's got two weapons and the Aurora Scarf, so she's going to attack four times. We're going to chain with Tiana. Um, Elena is going to use Piercing, Piercing Refraction. Um, that's going to just do the most damage possible of her skills. And I don't really care about damage on subsequent turns because we're trying to hit the cap on this turn. That's an important thing. Um, this turn, this is turn five. Uh, Ling needs to do light amplify and the light resistance down um hunter stance and i have historically done celestial combo here i don't never end up using it but it's there in my sh in my chart and i don't want to uh, mess up my system so there it is so 
Just like most burst runs you've probably seen, Chow is going to hit his limit burst. Everybody else is going to chain. These three are going to chain. And then Sky is going to cap. So um, we're looking for big damage here. Uh, the last time I did this, I ended up with 3.4 billion um, with this comp. So let's see how we do. And I also got 100 point. Yep. 100 hit chain, 2.7. We're gonna take that because that is over the damage cap. You know, half, part of the reason we didn't do as much damage was the morale was not as low. Um, could have also been a low damage roll for, for Sky. Um, you know, whatever. Uh, could have been a low damage roll for Elena because she has, um, she is a two-hander as well. Um, either way, we, we did hit the cap. So that's the important thing. It can be done with this team without any mods turned on. So. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and use this to push morale just a little tiny bit. Um, Chow's going to downshift and use Guard Dog, Crime Protector, Focus Inspiration. Cool. Um, that's going to get us started. Um, Ling is going to triple. Um, she's going to reapply Hunter Mitigation or Beast Mitigation. She's going to break the boss and then she's going to use Dragon Dancer. Um, Ling kind of needs to go before any of our attackers go. So we did Chow first, and then Ling's going to go to try. Because what I'm trying to see is if I can get an LB on Sky. If I can't, it's okay. Um, we've got ways of dealing with it. All right. I did not. Um, so we're going to try again. We're going to try and see if we can get um, a couple of crystal drops. And then we're going to use Fantastic Formula. So what I'm doing here is Trouble Brewing Unstable Water twice for the Crystal Drops and Stacks and Fantastic Formula to get rid of the Imperils that we now have on us. Um, and let's hopefully Sky gets a couple of Crystals. Sky did not. So rather than do a Limit Burst here with Sky, we're going to Downshift. And... We're going to do our best to um, at least use Battering Winds to reduce the accuracy of the boss a little bit. Um, and hopefully this does not end up getting us killed. Um, so we'll see. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do uh, Limit Burst, Damage Up, and Lotus Light Assault just for something to do. Um, Elena is going to shift up and uh, give us Radiant Shield and protection. Um, I really should be using, um, really probably should be using legendary heroin. We're not gonna get, um, unless Chow does a million counters, we're probably not gonna be getting um, perfect score for morale gained. So maybe I will do legendary heroin. Gotta have to kind of make those decisions sometimes. Um, There we go. And Sky is going to Sharp Spear, break the boss. And there we go. 8%. Chow could totally push this and get us the rest of the way. Assuming he does not die in the process. Come on, Chow. There goes the run. See, it's... it's mm. Yeah, and and that is the that is the crux of doing it this way. However, it can be done. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video, and I'm gonna get us back to turn six here. Um, actually, I'm gonna get us back to turn five so I can show the burst, and then uh, we will uh, pick back up. Okay, so we're back. Um, you know, just RNG being what it is. It took me a couple of runs to get uh, where I wanted to be, which is at turn five. Uh, not not dying along the way and um, having 0% morale on the boss. So what that means is we should be able to do a big hit of damage on the boss here, uh, bigger than the one we reported earlier, which was 2.7 billion. Um, so we'll take a look here. Okay. Um, we're going to just do turn five just like we did before. I'm using um, Chow's Limit Burst. We're using regular attack on Fina. We're using Speed of Light, Piercing, Piercing Refraction. We're using um, Five Times Unstable Water. 
we're using a capped universe with sky and Ling is going to help us out with a uh, light hunter stance and celestial combo hopefully we do more than 2.7 billion because that'll prove the point you know that i i said we could do better and now we have better morale um it just took it took a couple of runs for this to work out so really it all just boiled down to how many times chow got hit like there's an aoe magic hit move and uh, there were a couple of times um leading up to this where the boss just spammed that move like five or six times in the same run instead of physical moves and chow took a little bit of damage the boss gained no morale because of it and then chow countered every time so um that's kind of your ideal scenario is those aoe hits for magic um that said here we go uh getting to zero morale is very good though and chow helps a lot Okay, 3.2 billion, much better. Um, makes me feel a lot better. Okay, so turn six, here we are. Um, all right, and like I said, we are gonna try and use a limit burst on Sky if we can, because it's gonna help with the accuracy down. It's really important. Um, so to help us with that, we're going to first and foremost, um, let's see here. Um, we're going to break the boss because we need to. Um, we're going to use uh, we're going to use Hunter Stance for mitigation in case we need to. And Dragon Dancer. You know what we could do um, instead of Hunter Stance? Let's. I'm going to change it up a little bit. So we're going to use Break the Boss. We're going to use Dance of Ferocity to fill the Limit Burst gauge and Dragon Dancer. Hopefully that gets us to Sky's Limit Burst. Um, Let's see. There we go. That's what we want. So um, instead of using protection and legendary heroin, because we're already at zero morale anyway, we're just going to chain this up. Uh, we're going to use speed of light. We're going to use blade of salvation three times. Blue Mage Fiend is just going to attack. Um, Iana is going to use quad to redo her break. Two times water. Fantastic formula. All right, this accuracy down on the boss is going to help tremendously here because the boss did not reapply um, the accuracy buff because we broke we, we shifted on turn five we did the the transition um, this should help a bit now we're gonna do a little bit of damage with sky not a ton uh, what am I trying to do here uh, chaining The bigger thing we're more worried about is the um, the accuracy down on the boss. So we can... I ended up killing the boss. <laughs> uh, that was not in my plan to do that. Uh, my plan was to go to turn seven. Um, there you go, RNG, right? So we just rolled well. Let's see how we did on the score. That's the important thing. Okay, so we got a perfect score with this combo. Um, obviously not a ton of points compared to what you can do if you turn on all the mods, but it is doable, right? But like I said, there's a lot of RNG. I'm not happy with how much RNG there is. Um, Sky carried it. Um, Chow did a lot of work. Um, Tiana, if we had gone one more turn, would have done a lot of work. Um, but yeah, there it is. What do I get? Nothing I care about right this moment. All right. Um, if that had not killed the boss, <laughs> then my next plan would have been to um, do the same thing on the next turn. Uh, help have have Chow shift back up and do limit burst, water times five with Tiana, light amp hunter stance, dragon dancer to with Sky to fill the LB, um, or with with Ling to fill the LB for Sky. Sky can LB, Phoenix can attack, um, Elena can chain and do the damage just to just to get the kill in. Um, once you get to turn six with this strategy and most strategies, actually, you really are just doing a game of survival. So you have to kind of adjust based on what happens. But um, 
hopefully this is helpful and useful to somebody who, out there who is struggling to get a clear in because they don't have Kresnik. If you have Ling, you can technically do this. There's a lot of RNG involved. Yeah, Chow really, 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 really helps. So I'm not going to say that Chow's a requirement, um, but if you do, if you do have Chow and can use Chow, Chow's really going to make a big difference with gaining that morale. You know, some videos that I've seen that don't involve um, Kresnik because they involve uh, Mirage instead don't gain a lot of morale. Um, so the score is not as high. Um, this allows you to get the morale, get that score, um, do some damage. And it does take a little while and there's some randomness to it, but it can be done. So um, I'm going to go ahead and stop there. Um, and if you've got any questions or, um, you know, want to see something again or want some feedback on how something worked, please let me know. I'd be happy to um, give that to you in the comments or, you know, something else. Um, and special shout out um to sean for asking me for this video so there it is um you guys have a good one and we'll see you on thursday for new content thursday over on twitch uh, even though there's not a ton of new content um, i'm still gonna just hang out and, and chat and people um, do some runs on the new and improved uh, steel castle so uh, we'll be doing that um, and until then take care be safe um, if you're in the u.s and you're about to get hit by that giant winter storm um, be extra safe. Hopefully you bought bread and eggs like everybody in the U.S. tends to do when there's any chance of snow. Um, and if not, you know, get out there and do it while you still can. Uh, don't freak out, though. Ask your neighbors for help if you need to. Neighbors should be like that. Um, I love my neighbors. My neighbors are great. I like helping my neighbors, and I like asking them for help, and they like to help me, too. I'm rambling now about my neighbors. Uh, we should be talking about other things, like Clash of Wills. Take care.